expect that you would not allow to be used against you in order to pay ten dollars. You should not let a lesser story allow your whole life to be taken from you, your belief. This hadith and the meaning of the ayah indicate that creation is an act of giving. We need to notice that in our minds this creation such that some people will be allowed to have the opportunity to act correctly therefore know him therefore love him to the point of worship the end the worship is a bliss that starts in this life and ends eternally in the afterlife with it till eternity this is an act of giving so creation is out of generosity to make people for no need out of no need to the creator to make entities that will have a consciousness and that will be able to achieve a high state of their own pleasure out of total giving and mercy so this feeling and act of worship we can see now how it has to do with a feeling coming from what is usually called by humans from the heart it is not from the reason it is not against reason when you love your child when you love your wife or your husband we're talking about the heart we're not talking that you love him with your brain with your intellectual capacities there would be intellectual features that are in common that will add to this love etc but we should not lose focus of the importance of the feeling part of it that has to do with what is called heart that's important in what we're going to continue now concerning a hadith by the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam where he says god does not look at your bodies nor at your forms rather he looks at your hearts this section allows the muslim to understand this hadith more in this hadith usually the prophet and us we understand how it applies to our sincerity with him to what we do when we are doing some deeds some good deeds or not when we're behaving in life it's a direction to us that it is not the appearances that count it's the sincerity it's the heart now when we're talking about worship it allows a much deeper understanding it allows us to it allows us to continue the understanding that we started with it's all based on a leaning of the heart our creation is with the potential of knowing loving leaning of the heart to the point of worship so that worship is not the uh, even though it's called obedience without revolt that obedience without revolt is the one that comes from love that's what's important in it subduing some creature by force to worship is not the issue here the issue here is the worship that come 
willingly with feeling and we are now touching on the issue of willingly with the freedom of choice one is free not to accept to be grateful no I owe nothing to what you call a creator absolutely nothing all this is by chance all the happiness that ever occurred in my life all the things that I enjoy in my body, in myself, in my surroundings are total chance I owe nothing to a superior being a person is free to say that another person who has gone through the minimum attempt to examine may I owe some gratitude to somebody I think there is a big difference between the two we are not here yet at the point of proving the existence of God we are proving a person is different from another person a person who passes by your house receives something that pleases him helps him does not care to think if it was from you and another person who does care and stop and say let me think and between the two a small debate may go on where one would say you didn't prove that to me let me continue my way and the other says maybe not a hundred percent but I don't want to miss the chance to be better than I am today to be a tad better and knock on that door and tell them thank you if you are the ones who did it he didn't beat him with the argument by the way this is important and we will come to it how strong the argument of the existence of God the argument of the existence of God is not such that God wins an argument against me I am the point of examination I am the entity that's being examined not my Lord the test is mine it's not humankind that's testing God is there a God or not in our lap we're in the lab say religious people we have to find if there's a chance of missing a thank you where it deserves we do not want to miss it sorry we feel an obligation on this issue the Holy Quran mentions clearly beautifully if we want we can descend a sign unto them to mankind we can descend as we can descend a sign unto them from heaven to which their necks will remain submitted okay god is telling me you who have a common sense that his choice concerning me and my race is not to make me believe by force if he wanted he would have done it we will be talking about the proofs of the religion about the proofs of the existence of God about the proofs of the Quran this verse warns us the, even though other verses point to a proof this verse as well as the other verses warns us not to go too much far-fetching to the utmost of debate because it is not made 
to bend my mind and break it by force. There is no mathematical definite proof